um, decide in your heart that you will enjoy mm. yourself. Do not allow anything, anyone to, um, do not allow anything to distract you from being joyful. Mm. Joyfulness affects your health. Yeah. Joyfulness affects your health. Mm. Joyfulness affects your spirituality. Joyfulness affects so many things. That's true. Why? Because joy is actually who you are. Mm. Joy is your essence. That's true. So when you are expressing joy, you are expressing your, your eternal being. Mm. And you are, you are, you see, when you express joy, you are preaching a message to your flesh. Mm. You are ministering to your heart. You are ministering to your body. You are ministering to things around you. You are ministering to the creation around you. When you stay in joy, one of the ways to be functional in the kingdom is to stay joyful. That's true. Joyfulness. That's true. Joyfulness. Laughter. Contentment. Satisfaction from within. Mm. Not from things. Mm. Not from the things you think you should have mm. that you have not had. Mm. But from the knowing that all things are mine. From the knowing that I am the abundant one. From the knowing that I lack nothing. Let your joy overflow. Let the joy that you are overflow. Because this is the secret of the life that we are. Our joyfulness. You know, joyfulness is an expression of love. It's a, it's a manifestation of love. Joyfulness means that Nothing from outside can affect me, can determine my mood. Can you read Joy chapter 1 verse 12? What about trace what you're saying? Joy 1 12. The vine is dried up mm -hmm. and the fig tree languishes. The pomegranate tree, the palm tree also, and the apple tree, even all the trees of the field are withered. Because joy is withered away from the sons of men. Mm. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Mm. You see, the trees withered mm. because joy withered from the heart of, of the sons of men. of men. Do you see the connection between your heart and creation? You see the connection. It says the tree is withered. Hmm. Because joy withered from the hearts of the sons of men. Amen. Ah, oh my God. So what is going to happen? When joy is fully restored. Oh, shut up. That, is, that is redemption to creation. That is redemption to creation. Amen. And one of the ways to stay joyful is to know who you are in Christ. Yes. You see, money cannot make you to be joyful. It does not. It cannot. It, it, it cannot give joy. Now, don't misunderstand. Mm. We're not saying you don't need money. Mm -mm. You need money to do things, to get things done, right? You need money. We all but need it. There is a currency that is higher than the money. There is a currency of life, and that's what we're talking about. Yes. Now, if you look at the scripture here, all right, it says, The vine is dried up, and the fig tree languishes. Hmm. Why? Why are these trees? You know, when you talk about trees, the trees here, the things mentioned here represents other creatures around us in the entire universe he said they are drying up meaning they are dying hmm. because joy 
wither the way from the heart of the sons of men. The moment Adam was disconnected from the true source of joy, which is the tree of life, everything in the earth began to wither, began to die. Their restoration back to their original order demands full manifestation of the joy of the Lord. There is the joy of the Lord. There is, there is a level of joy that material things introduces in the heart. That, that kind of joy cannot sustain the body. It cannot sustain things around us. It can't sustain the trees that are withering because joy withered away from the sons of men. But there is the joy of the Lord. Because the joy of the Lord is not known, today we bring in comedians to come and entertain us in churches. Alright? We bring in, we introduce comedians to come and crack jokes so that we will laugh. No. When you discover your divine essence and you switch your mind to the glory and the beauty of who you are in Christ, Joy wells out of your being. That is the joy that sustains your body. That is the joy that keeps your body. That is the joy that positively affects your body. Not, you know, you know, you know, you remember the rich man that said, said to himself in the Bible, Jesus said to the story of the rich man who looked at his band and saw and saw his 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 his, his wealth and said to him so. My soul, be merry, because you have all things. And Jesus knew that the joy you drive from having money, the joy you drive from having good things of the earth, is good. But that's not the joy that Jesus came to offer. That's not the joy he came to offer. So we have to step higher. We have to step into the frequency of the joy of the Lord. Where you, you, you laugh, even when, there, when you don't have things, you are at peace. Because there are things designed here to steal your joy. Offenses, they steal joy from your heart. Bitterness steals joy from your heart. There are people who have offended you over the years. The more you think about offenses, how they offended you, all right, it affects your joy cannot accommodate your heart cannot uh, will not be able to accommodate the joy of the Lord. And that's why the Bible says, For oh no man nothing but love. Don't allow issues to encroach into your heart. Address issues outside of your being and keep the joy of the Lord intact in your heart. In this year 2023, according to Babylonish calendar, you are in for the full blown manifestation of divine essence in your body, in your soul, and everything that concerns you or connected to you. Hallelujah. Joy overflowing.